All this month, get up to $50 off any Android smartphone from Appalachian Wireless. Any Android you desire. All $50 off with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. More than 100 employees from Kentucky Power's Pikeville Service Center left Tuesday morning en route to Florida to assist in restoring power to millions of customers. Pikeville's distribution services manager Bob Shirtliff says that crews also left from Ashland and Hazard and will be among the 14,000 workers making up the largest staging of electrical workers that has ever occurred in the United States. We've got an assessment group going to TECO, which is going out and just looking at assessing damage and, and reporting back. Then we've also got line groups going down that will do pole restoration, service restoration, the whole gamut. Uh, whatever they've got, they can fix. And then we've got vegetation groups that will be going down to help them cut trees, just like we do here. Many crews are already on the ground in Florida, but Shirtliff says recent forecasts for our region showed the possibility of wind gusts as high as 60 miles per hour which would have created multiple power outages here. We held ours till this morning to make sure that the weather went through, that we weren't hit, and then APCO was doing the same thing. I&M staged theirs in Withville and uh, Knoxville last night. When severe weather causes outages in the mountains of Appalachia, workers have to be able to navigate through some of the toughest terrain in the country, making them more valuable in all areas. Our guys can take their skills and go anywhere in the country and apply them because I think in southern Florida they're 10 foot above sea level and that's as high as it gets. Kentucky Power employees were also deployed to Texas a couple weeks ago to assist after Hurricane Harvey, which was the first time in several years crews have been sent from Pikeville. We've gone I think six years without a, a storm out of town and now we've had three groups go out in three weeks. The third group of about 50 workers will leave Pikeville Wednesday morning. In Coal Run Village, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.